It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm hmm. Talk that talk. Good morning, today is Friday, it's May 10th, the year is 2024. So we now have seen the video of the young man, 23, year old, year, 23 years of age, U.S. Airman Roger Fortson, who was shot in his apartment in uh, Okalasa, Okasa, I can actually pronounce that down, but in, in, in Florida. I think that's, I wonder if that Destin, Destin Beach. Um, he came to the door, the police officer, the officer knocked at the door and he stood to the side. I find that kind of strange. Um, was he, what, did he not want to be seen? Um, he beat on the door, stood to the side, and then knocked again, then ran to the other side. I find that just very odd. You know, I'm going to tell you what I do not do here in my home. I don't open up my door for nobody. Would you all like to know how many police have knocked on my door and I did not open it? So many times I came, I've lost count. I'm sure we have all had police officers knock at that door. I don't open the door. I go look. First off, if I'm not expecting you, and your name ain't Alberta Hampton, my mother, and you're knocking at my door, I'm not opening up that door. I don't give a fuck if you Jesus motherfucking Christ coming in. To, you finally made it back. Jesus back. Knocking at my door. You ain't getting in here. I don't open up this door. Tell so many people have come around here knocking at this door at this house. I don't know what the fuck these people want. I don't know. But I have a ring camera. I see them. Sometimes I say, what? Who, what do you want? And I, and I even tell him, oh, he's not there. I'm not at home. And I'm, I'm right there laying in bed uh, in this house someplace. But nine times out of ten, I'm not opening up that damn door. Because we live in a crazy world here. And it's just unfortunate that Roger opened up that door in his own home, holding his own gun, not aimed at nobody, and that officer shot him dead. And that officer should be charged for this. He didn't even, th he just started shooting. Because of some crazy white bitch that said that she heard some commotion going outside this man's apartment. He got up there, he listened, and then his shit. Y'all will learn that y'all, this, this is my rules. I don't open my door for nobody unless I'm expecting you. If you're a UPS person or Amazon, you got my Viagra out there holding on. Let me give me that Viagra and eat them pills. And for those of you who want to know what I do with Viagra, I use Viagra to work out with. I use it as a pre-workout prior to going to the gym. So I buy a whole bunch of them, pop them pills, and go to the gym and work out. Best workout ever. Because I know a lot of y'all don't read and write, so y'all don't know Viagra was what blood pressure medicine at first. This man lost his life because an officer, a trigger happy, he started with that gun, saw a black man with a gun and started to shoot. Had that boy been white, Standing at that door with that gun, he'd be alive today. How much y'all want to bet? But ultimately, y'all, if you're not expecting company, you're not expecting anyone to knock at your door. You peep out the peephole, you don't see somebody, but somebody beating at the door, and you can't hear. I'm not opening up that damn door. That officer knocked and stood to the side. What was that all about? Why didn't he just knock and stand there? Hey, this is the police officer. Let us in. Is something going on here? Is somebody there? Hey, what's up? Talk to the guy through the door. What, why would he knock it and stand to the side? What kind of game was he playing? That's what I don't get. That's why I don't open up my fucking door. Y'all, I don't open up this motherfucking door. I've learned this years ago. I never forget one time my sister called me and she's like, well, Walter, there's some police officer running around my house. I said, well, well how did the police officer get in there? He's looking for so-and-so. I said, well, who opened the door? I let him in. I said, you open up the door. You let this police officer in. He's running around the house looking for who? No search warrant, no nothing. Just running around and took advantage of her. I said, why the fuck you open up that damn door for his ass? Did you know the police officer when you opened up the fucking door? Yeah. Then why? 
You open the door for that son of a bitch. Let that motherfucker stay outside. Don't open the door. I don't give a fuck who knocking at that door. If you're not expecting company, you know, I'm not opening up no damn door. I'm not opening up that door, y'all. I am six feet two. I weigh damn near 260 pounds. I ain't opening up that door. I'm going to get back in bed. Whatever I was doing prior to you knocking at my door, I will continue to do. The crazy part is some people have even seen me inside my home. And with that last apartment I had, they saw me in there. I ain't over at that door, they knocking, looking. I'm like, <laughs> what you want? But I'm not opening that door for no police officer. He didn't want to tear that door down. I'm not fucking with him. I'm, y'all, I'm not opening up my door. I don't give a fuck what law enforcement agency you come from. You better tear that damn door down if you want to get to me because I'm not opening it up. We got an investigation going on. We got questions to ask. You better ask the door and see what the door say. I ain't got no reason to talk to you any damn way. I'm damn sure y'all not opening my door. Now y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Y'all can greet, meet and greet the Jehovah Witnesses and open up the door and do whatever y'all motherfucking want to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm not opening up my motherfucking door. Now the, the narrative was yesterday they, they kicked down the door. Now we know he opened up the door and got shot dead. I said, okay, he didn't let these motherfuckers in. First off, if I feel that I need to get my gun to open up my door, I'm damn sure not opening up that door. I don't open my door. There was some lady running around this neighborhood. She kept repeatedly coming to this house. Some white woman. I don't know who she was. She kept knocking, and I have ring on my door. I can see when you just walk up, the ding, the, my ring starts tingling. White woman alert. White woman alert. Ling, 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 ling. I'm, looking, looking, I'm looking at my phone. That was another thing I wish that man had had was a ring because he could have saw who was playing outside his door. Y'all, them rings are cheap. I got them all over this house. I'm about to get some more. I got cameras. I got three different systems over here. One is kind of high through Comcast. But I can see everything going on over here. Front, back, sides. I see your ass. But my neighbors next door got something even better. And I got to find out what that shit is because they can send it to me. They can send me a link and we can look at it at the same time. Like, you know who this is? I'm, we both, I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, well, I like this. Now I'm like, I don't know who that is walking around out there. He said, do you know this? I said, I don't know who that is. He, we talking to each other and looking at it. He sent a link that I could see somebody walking around these houses. I don't know who it was. I don't know what my door. I went around there. Who is it? Y'all just don't know. I ain't going out there. I, certainly, I don't open up. I just got strict rules, y'all. I've been in the streets for too damn long. Forgive me. But I ain't opened up this damn door. You want to get in here? Tear it down, motherfucker. I can buy a new one. You going to replace that damn door. But living by that rule has kept me safe. I just opened up my door. Sometimes people be knocking at the wrong door and knocking and knocking. Oh, who is this? I never get some guy a few years back was I had the ring and I could see him. He was holding some food and he was knocking at the damn door. He's at the wrong address. And so I finally said, you got the wrong address. I ain't order no damn food. He said, oh, OK, that's why you need a ring. Because you can talk back and forth to that thing. He would have saw that officer jumping around acting. That officer was playing a dangerous game that ended with this young man's death because he knocked at the door and it stood to the side. Then he ran to the other side. Why? Okay. Y'all gonna learn. Lock the door. And keep it locked. And some of y'all said the device I had, that y'all didn't like the little device. Yeah, that device worked damn good. And if you don't like that device, they got all types of devices you can keep people from kick, like kicking in your damn door. Go, go to Home Depot, they got a whole road selection of them. Uh, excuse me, to choose from. Ultimately, cameras, rings, those types of accessories would have helped this young man. Because he saw what was going on out there. And could have communicated to that officer, what the fuck do you want? What do you want? When they ring that ring button, it shows up on your phone, and I can see, um, I can go, I can turn on my ring right now. Go right into ring, click on it. And then there it is, and I can do live. And then there it is, it's, there it is. That's my driveway, that's live. I'm looking right, and if I want to talk to somebody, I just hit the button and talk and say, nigga, what you want? <clears throat> right there. 
And this is the side door to my house. Let me run out here, but I need to get a, I need to get a few more of these damn rings over here. Cause I, I wanna I wanna hold that house, house tingling with niggas walking around. Here. This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's very un unfortunate, y'all. It made me sick. But anyway, y'all. This I I wish that man had not opened that door. He was not expecting any company. At least he should have asked. Before he opened the door, he should have clarified who was on the other side of the door because the officer was playing a game, jumping back and forth. So he probably didn't hear this officer. What do you fucking want? Who is it? You got the wrong address. Talk to the door. Shit ain't open up that no fucking door. Y'all done had, I done lived a lot of places. I'm telling y'all, I don't open up that motherfucking door. Period. He ain't from Georgia Lottery out there holding some big check up there. They, they, they get my ass there. And I open up. Oh, they got a check for that. <laughs> oh, Lord, I thought they would give me a check. They gave me some bullets. No, Georgia Lottery in Cali. Okay, we, we, we learned his ass out with the Georgia Lottery big check. That, that might learn my ass out. <laughs> some money out there. Oh, there. They got some money. Well, I mean, think about it. Let's say he... Recognizes the officer and opens the door anyway, and we're still holding the gun. Did that require the officer to shoot that man dead? No. The gun, the, a gun was aimed down. He could have. The officer could have said, "Oh, the officer just started shooting." But this goes back to that white bitch and the narrative that she put out there. I had to slap somebody. Y'all, y'all know these white folks crazy. I. Live in white apartment complexes, and I said I would never do that again. I don't live in places that are too white and too black. I can't stand either one of y'all. I can't stand too many niggas. I can't stand too many of them hillbillies, white folks. I got diversity. Give me a little bit of everything. Because some of these white folks are fucking crazy. We all know this. And I heard somebody tap somebody, and I heard some noise, and she didn't call 911 over, and, and it's complete quiet up there. Ain't nothing going on. He listening. He ain't heard shit. It's quiet in this damn apartment. Where's all this rec rec record at? Did she record? I, I would love to hear the recording of the rock, all this noise she claimed she heard. White folks are devious, y'all. Be careful around them white folks. And smile in your face. Hey, how you doing? But they hate your ass. They hate you. They hate you because you living a better life than they are. And they miserable. And I'm sure that man walked into that apartment wearing his uniform on many occasions. I got a problem with this whole scenario about some noise coming out this apartment. And there was no noise coming out that apartment. I got a problem with this whole scenario that she called 911 saying that something was going on in there. Hell, it could have been a TV show. I just found this very odd. But not surprising when you're dealing with them white motherfuckers. Not surprising. Mm -mm. Are you going to cut your grass? Remember that white bitch asked you that? She'd come up and say, hey, my name is Molly Ann and I'm over the Homeowners Association over you know, here. She's walking, are you going to cut your grass? This is an ignorant white bitch. This is ignorant. And we know these white folks are racist as fucking hell. Don't be fooled by these smiling faces. Mm -hmm. Y'all can be fooled if you want to. I don't trust them white folks files. I can throw their motherfucking asses. And unfortunately, that part of the town country where he live in, I'm not a big fan of the panhandle. It's too right. Y'all, give me Miami. People say Miami's racist. Okay, I go to Miami, ain't never had no issues. That panhandle down there, that whole Oklahoma, Destin Beach, Florida, and all that shit, I've been there numerous times. I just don't care for it. Too redneckers and too racist for me. And I've never had any racist experience. Right? It's just too many white folks down there for me. I'm like, okay. I've seen some black folks down there. But a lot, give me Miami. It's diverse. We got blacks, we got whites, we got Hispanics, we got Latinos, we got Colombians, we got. Give me diversity. Any place that's too much of something, I don't like. That's just my thoughts. That man was living down there. I hate he opened up that damn door, though, y'all. And I hate that he didn't have some type of ring or camera. Y'all go buy your ring. Go on up to Home Depot and get your ring. Or whatever they got up there. Home Depot got all this shit you can start with yourself. Drill it right into the door. 
hook your phone up to it, you can see everything. And then you can see what's going on outside your door. And the ring be tingling and making all that noise. A bird fly by my ring and then be tingling. Huh? Bird fly by. Look at the phone. What's going on out there? A bird just flew by. Okay, what's going on? We live in some very weird times now. And we have to do what we have to do to protect ourselves. He was a legal gun holder. He was his own gun. He was in his own home. And still he was shot dead by a police officer coming to a noise complaint. That there was no noise going on. That there was nothing going on inside his home. Weird, huh? No, it ain't weird. That's the country we live in. And we all have to understand where we live at. The color of our skin dictates what happens to you when you have these encounters. Do y'all really think my black ass is going to open up a door to a police officer? Or any other law enforcement agency? They better tear that motherfucking door down. That's just, and, just, and here's the funny part. A top law attorney, a criminal attorney told me that. He said, I don't understand why people open up their door to the police. He said, I've never understood why people open up their door to the police. You don't have to. You shouldn't open up your door to anyone. He said, if the police come knocking, don't open up your door. If they got a warrant, they tear it down. Let them tear it down. Unless you just want to turn yourself into the police for something. Now, if you know you police looking for your motherfucking ass, uh, if you know the police looking for your ass, shouldn't you be someplace where they can't find you? You might want to be. <laughs> That's what I did. Um, but anyway, this is a tragic story. That kid was only 23 years of age. She was very young. He had his gun in his hand. She should be, he should not still have been shot dead in his own home. There was no noise going on inside that apartment. We, we all know that when the officer got there. This white bitch didn't call the police acting a damn fool for no reason. It could have been something on this man's TV. This officer took it upon himself to become the judge, the juror, and the executioner. And he should be charged appropriately for discharging that firearm without a reason. Just because that man was holding a gun that wasn't pointing at him. Lock that motherfucker up. And charge him. But you know what they're going to do? They're going to write a check. <laughs> We're just going to pay it off. Oh my God, we didn't kill off uh, U.S. Army Airmen over here. Oh my God. And it's a military base there. Right there, there's a massive military base. And then people are pissed. They mad. They got every reason to be upset. That boy should never have been done like that. Never. But these are just my thoughts and opinions. You all know I'm just a crazy man on the internet. When you come over here, you better kick this damn door down. Because I'm not opening up that door. I don't give a fuck who you are. Jesus Christ, so if they watch, I'm coming to save your life. No, you ain't, motherfucker. You come in here to, to paint these walls and overcharge me for some bad ass paint. That door is locked. I ain't dealing with you, fucking with you, motherfuckers, no more. I need to get some more workers in this damn house. <sighs> Lord, y'all, I, I want to kind of do some painting in here, but I don't want to be bothered with the workers, though. God, I just don't want to be bothered. I need to do a little touch-up painting and some other stuff in here, but I don't want to be bothered. I'm like, I just, okay, we just got to a point where y'all probably wondering, why is about to put spin out these videos? Because I ain't got a bunch of fucking workers out here beating on the door and ain't making all this racket every day. I got a small little project we're trying to finish in this basement, and I'm dragging my feet on that and trying to get back from Turkey. And I'm trying to, I was going to do it this week. I said, fuck that shit. I do that shit when I get back from Turkey. Back my teeth. I'm getting gold teeth. Yeah, I'm getting pretty platinum teeth. It's so funny, but um, I've been online looking at. It. They sent me some stuff to look at the teeth. I'm picking out my teeth. You know, you can choose your size, the shape, the color. Well, we about to find out because this is about to come to a conclusion. Walter's teeth episode is coming to an end, end soon. On next week, I'll be over there. Yeah, this is going to be corrected. I had some concerns because you see these two teeth in the front? There's a gap right there. And I'm trying to figure out how they're going to do this without them teeth looking so big. Like you said, don't worry about it. We're going we're gonna, to, I said, yeah, I, I got to worry about it because I didn't see some people around having some big ass teeth. I don't want those big teeth. I said, we're going, we, I want my teeth to look <laughs> to scale. You know, I ain't, I ain't crazy. In the scheme of things, me worried about some damn teeth in the shape of them in minor compared to this family that just lost their son, a 23-year-old man who never been in trouble in a day in his life. 
shot dead by a police officer in his own home. Y'all, quit opening up these fucking doors. Get you a ring, get your camera, get something so you can see what's going on and keep your door closed. Don't let these demons in your fucking house. Please, for your own safety, don't open up that motherfucking door. He should have never opened that door. I don't give a fuck who was knocking at that damn door. I would never, ever have opened that fucking door. And I've had this conversation with my niece and never open up that fucking door. And I've had this conversation with my mother. I don't give a fuck who knocking at that door. Do not open it. My mother got a ring and everything else. I have to go back over there and show her how the phone, when your ring tingling, it show up on your phone instantly. I don't have to do nothing on my side. When that ring go off, instantly it pops up on my phone and I can see, oh, somebody has to do. I be in the gym working out. I hear that little tingling noise. I say, okay, I'll look down. I say, okay. Hmm. Go right back to working out. <laughs> God, up there, it's funny. But anyway, now we can do about this now, y'all. We just have to be more cautious and going forward and educate our people. Just because somebody beating at your door don't mean you have to open it. You don't have to open that damn door. And I really wish this young man had not opened that door. That officer went on about his damn business. Uh, whatever he went on. Oh, he, I went on the balcony. What's going on here? I would not have opened up that damn door, though. We don't open doors over here. We slam them in your fucking face. Me anyway, just my thoughts, opinions. Today is Friday, May 10th, the year 2020. Four, it's a beautiful Friday. I hate that this happened. Now we have some idea what took place, and I hope they charge that officer appropriately because he should never have done what he did to that young man. I'm out of here. Y'all enjoy this beautiful Friday. Friday, May 10th, 2024. I'm out, and I'll speak to y'all later today.